Hello, I'm Dan Hansen. I'm the owner of Ladybug Daedalus in Central Florida. And today I'm going to show how I make seed outside in Florida. Simply what we're doing is cross-pollinating to make hybrids in the genus of Hemercalis. It's uh, very basic, very easy. Simply taking pollen from one flower and putting it on the style of another flower is the process. But to be successful, especially at a large scale, I'm going to show you how I do it, some of the tricks of the trade. Uh, so I'm going to talk about picking pollen parents, pod parents, the record keeping, actually doing it, and then harvesting the seed. So if it's bent, split, split styles, So when you're going to start making seed, you got to decide how you're going to keep your records, how are you going to know where your seed comes from when it blooms. I choose to use uh, paper Avery labels, or one and three quarter inches by one and uh, three thirty second, they're readily available, uh, they're cheap, they're reusable, and these tags, once when, you know, I put the pod and uh, pollen parent on it. It travels with the seed right up until I start planting um, the seed. If you know, in a good week, I'll use over 50 different parents, and I'll cross for 12 weeks. So it, it's very uh, possible for me to use over 300 pollen parents. So twisted wires are not going to work for me. It's, the variability is is too much. Uh, there's problems using tags, uh, wet, um, they fall apart, if it rains hard, it hails, it knocks them off. Um, but you have to choose some kind of record system, and this, uh, this has been working for me. That's the pollen, the anthers, and they're on filaments. This is the style.
Move the string to the knots at the very end. Put it through the bloom. Tuck it through. So we have the pollen parent on there. And we look through there. Okay, so after we've uh, gathered the seed, let them dry in these trays, take the seed out, put it in this bag, which we reuse, put the tag on it, take a piece of tape, put it over, off to the refrigerator. That's how we do it. Some general questions people ask me about making seed in daylilies is uh, when do you cross during the day? Well, it's generally done in the morning. That's why we uh, put uh, pollen in the refrigerators because when we come out early in the morning, the pollen in the field is not ready yet. The styles are ready to take pollen. Then 10 or 11 o'clock, the styles will uh, excrete stomatic fluid and it at that point, uh, putting pollen onto the styles is not going to yield you seed, generally speaking. So uh, it's an early morning thing. The uh, perfect temperature for crossing uh, that people talk about is 75 degrees. So if you had 75 degrees, you could cross all day long. You know, 75 to 85 degrees is the comfort range for me. I can get seed up to 90 maybe 92 degrees, but much beyond that, and uh, I haven't been uh, very successful. Of course, this is all cultivar dependent. Uh, after I've made crosses, if I can go an hour or two before rain, um, then I'm, I'm in pretty good shape, because the stomatic fluid is going to cover the pollen and actually activate the pollen, and what happens there is, is the quote, sugar in the stomatic fluid causes the filament to grow out of the pollen grain and run down the style 
all the way to the ovary and it's one pollen per seed. That's why every seed is different, uh, genetically speaking. Um, how many seed do you normally get in a pod? Well, with dip seeds and spiders, I've seen 30 to 35. Uh, if you're using conversions, you're lucky to get one seed per pod. Um, conversions, I'm talking about changing a diploid into a tetraploid through uh, um, uh, chemical mutation. Um, an average for me on a healthy plant is going to be about uh, eight to nine seed. Um, and I feel good with that. Well, thanks for listening to what I had to say about uh, making seed. Uh, it's uh, other ways to do it. Uh, I'd choose not to use shade cloth or a greenhouse. Uh, and that's a discussion in itself. So I uh, hope you luck and lots of seed. Bye for now.